My guest tonight is Joanna Godoy. She's the owner of Inside Out Image, an image and impact expert, helping individuals and also businesses and organizations achieve greater professionalism when it comes to the way they are perceived and the way they look. And it's an area that's often massively underestimated by people. They think their experience and expertise is enough, um, but in reality, people buy people. If you go to a networking event, imagine you're a lawyer or you're a coach, there's, there's bound to be other people that do what you do in the room. How are you going to differentiate yourself and stand out positively to those you meet who might not have a need for your services or product there and then, might be later down the line, but you're going to be memorable to them for positive reasons. Um, and particularly for a job interview, I would always recommend you really research what's the culture of the company, how do people there dress, and whilst you'll dress up more for an interview, um, just take that into account and, and think about that quite carefully because if you're overdressed or underdressed, you're going to feel very uncomfortable and not communicate yourself in the best possible way. Got very casual weekend hanging out wear, jeans absolutely. Um, you've got tidy casual, um, which might be jeans but very dark jeans. Then you've got the sort of business casual area, um, which is where people get stuck. Um, so it's a bit in between. Um, for women, you might still have a jacket on, but a more relaxed jacket, more relaxed jewellery, a few more patterns, more interesting colours. Um, then you've got the next step up is relaxed business. So it's not a formal matching suit, as in, um, you know, for a gentleman, jacket and trousers, for a woman, skirt and top, or trousers and top, or dress and jacket, um, but a bit more relaxed. Whereas formal business is always high contrast, the basics and when I run workshops on the importance of image and impact and what really counts and I get on to the basics of you know really hygiene attention to detail people think really you know do you really need to mention this equally in body language I, I went to a network event last week and I was speaking to somebody and you know I could tell we were in a group of three of us and she was just trying to anticipate where she'd move on to next we communicate a lot um, subconsciously through our body language and we read a lot from other people so if our body language is, is not consistent with what we're saying, our body language is more likely to be believed. Appearance, um, secondly body language, and thirdly, I'm going to say communication, I, I really mean voice in this instance, but it's easy for people to remember ABC. Well, one of the big things to be aware of is your posture. It, it's my personal difficulty. Um, you don't want to ever be making gestures that are above your shoulder height because then you're getting towards people's faces and that's quite, again, you're putting a barrier and it's a bit intimidating for the other person. Um, so it's about working with somebody to understand what their mannerisms are, how they work best and how can we make them be their best self for whatever they're doing. If you're presenting, it's really, really important to not just look at one spot and fix on that. You've got to look around the room to make sure everyone feels engaged. That way you can spot if there's anyone that's perhaps getting a bit lost and, and re-energise the room and bring them in. I, something I wrote in an article today actually was remember you have uh, two ears and one mouth. So actually it's really worth listening and that sort of emphasises what I was saying earlier about when you meet people for the first time. It's really worth listening to them to make sure that what you say is going to be relevant to them. I really hope that's been useful today. Um, I'm Joanna Godoyne and I run Inside Out Image. Um, I help people in lots of ways, one-to-one um, -one and in groups. And what's really important to remember is people do buy people. And we all work with those that we know, like and trust. So you've really got to think about your image because that is your advert. And for people to certainly like and trust you, they need to, to feel like they can engage with you and build rapport with you. Um, so do remember that appearance, body language and communication um, are really key. And uh, on the page uh, that Steve talked to you about, uh, you can sign up for my newsletters and you also get a free guide on Boost Your Personal Impact. Uh, that comes in six parts over six weeks, uh, so not in all in one go, it gives you a week in between to read and come back with any questions. There's also a couple of other offers on there as well. Uh, I'm offering a complimentary call um, for a limited number of people, uh, so get in quick. If you're interested in that, do contact me. And just really remember, you and those that work for you represent your business and people won't understand your expertise and experience if they haven't got past your positive personal image first. Thank you.